Hello everyone, my name is Luanda. I'm a Senior Compliance Advisor for QCS. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about the new QCS Audit Centre. Um, it's a project we've been working on for quite some time now and I'm really excited to show you a sneak preview. Uh, with the QCS Audit Centre, it will make conducting an audit a simple online process to help you become better at what you do. Uh, so the first thing you would do once you start using or before you use your QCS audit center is you would need to set your audit settings of how you as an organization would like to conduct audits. So here you have your compliance level. Um, as a default, we've set it as 20% not compliant and 80% as compliant, but you can toggle that and make it more customized to how you as an organization would like to conduct your audits. Once you've done that, you then click save and then it will show you anything below 20% is not compliant, anything 80% or above is compliant and the range between represents the partially compliant. You also have an option for answer questions. Uh, here you have met and not met or you can tick an option for met, partially met or, or not met. And once you've done that, you then click save. QCS have added uh, 14 uh, audit templates which align with the new CQC inspection framework. Uh, and this is where you can unlock that. There is also a video to explain how to use those audit templates. Um, they, the templates we provide can be edited, so you can add or remove anything that you would like from it. And you can also add your own audit templates onto the QCS system, which I'll show you a little later. You also have the scheduling frequencies here of how you want to conduct audits. And once you've completed that, you're now ready to start using the QCS Audit Center. Here I'm going, going to show you your audits dashboard. And this, our customers love this because it allows you to have an oversight of upcoming audits electronically. So if you wanted to see as an example, what audits you have coming up in December, you can plan ahead and you can see here your upcoming audits. Underneath here, you have your uh, audits. Uh, so you have ones that are overdue, the ones that are due, in progress, completed audits, and also missed audits as well. Now I'm going to show you how to conduct an audit. So these are some of the templates QCS have added. I'm going to choose a complaints focus audit. So here you have the answer options of met, partially met or not met. It is advisable that you write observation notes on all of your audits, but we haven't made it mandatory on the met option. If you select partially met or not met, it is mandatory that you write observation notes. We've also added an option to celebrate the standard. So it's not just about what's not going well as an audit for your organization, but also what is working well to so celebrate what's working well for your organization as well. And this is a feature we've added uh, unique to QCS. If you, if you select celebrate the standard, again, it's mandatory that you write observation notes. Sorry, this is a bit of a long audit uh, because it is the complaints. Um, here's the end of the audit. Again, as just to show you an example, if you do select partially met, it is mandatory that you add notes. 
and obviously not met as well, you will need to add notes. Once you've completed your audit, it then allows you to review and save. Uh, because we've selected a partially met on the answer, you will need to create an action. So here you give it an, a title, a description. You can also assign this to a staff member to complete the action. You can also set a deadline that you want the, the staff member to complete this action. And when you click save, that staff member would then get a notification to say that they have an action to complete. Once you've completed that, you click review and save. And now your audit has got will show up on your dashboard as a completed audit. If you wanted to get a copy of the audit, you simply export. And this is what your audit summary would look like. As I mentioned earlier, we have added 14 audit templates uh, which align with the CQC inspection framework. So these are the available audit templates to use. As discussed earlier, you can make copies of audits, which means you can add or remove anything that you want from that particular audit, um, as well as add your own audit templates onto the QCS system. To add your templates, you have an option here to create your own. And uh, here you have an area to add your audit template from care quality, leadership, operational risk and safety, but you can also add a new area of your choice as well. Here you would give your audit a title. You can also select an audited item for this particular template. And once you've done that, you will then be able to add your standard, save it and publish, and that will appear as an audit template to use in your audits. That's it, everyone. I hope you liked the demo. Um, we do offer a free trial of the QCS Audit Center. We will be sharing a link below at the end of this um, demo. Um, so you can request it so that you can play around yourselves. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, alternatively, you can request a free trial on the QCS website, which is qcs.co.uk. Start a free trial. Thanks, everyone. Bye.